so voluminous verbosity as they portray a panoply of personalities under this preeminent proscenium. Please welcome Miss Smythe and Mr. Jones. And I'm Mr. Jones, and how is each and everybody doing today? Welcome to the theater, the famous royal theater, and why would we the theater? I say, let's do a play! Using our imagination, as well as good enunciation, together we will be creating a creation that will take your breath away. is a stage, my friend. Attend and hark if you've been here to land. We're gonna tell a tale with once upon a time at the start, and there's a happy ever after at the end. Say, Mr. Smythe. Yes, Mr. Jones. What story should we players play today? Well, today we shall render upon these boards an adventure that is most hair-raising. Well, say, Mr. Smythe, today we tell the timeless tale of Tango! Tango. It's a very special tale about a very special girl. She's full of hopes and dreams, a little something like you. And if she puts some work into it, makes her mind a to pursue it. She can make a wish come true, and maybe I'll play hard to do it. With imagination, some courage, and determination. If she can conquer all her fears and trepidation, well, then she just might make it through. Today we have two special guests. Two special guests? Yes. Who's on first? The young lady with golden locks. Golden locks and her three dancing bears! No, 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 we don't have three dancing bears. Only two? No. Just one. No, there are no dancing bears. Uh, Lords and ladies presenting Goldilocks and no dancing bears. Wait a minute, listen to oh, what I'm hey, saying. Baby, baby, give me the dancing bears. Hey, I've got a papa bear and a mama bear. And a bear she'd be great. No, 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 there are no dancing bears and no Goldilocks. You said a young lady with golden locks. Yes, Rapunzel. Rapunzel doesn't have any dancing bears. No, she's our first guest. Our first guest? Yes. Who's on second? That is the question. Oh, I can hardly wait. Lords and ladies, it is time to give a warm welcome to our first royal guest. The one the only! The one and only! Rapunzel! We are honored to be in your presence today. And we are most delighted that you accepted our invitation to join us in a live performance of your story. It's my pleasure. After all, who better to help us tell the story of Rapunzel than Rapunzel? This is going to be such an adventure. Now remember, we are here to assist you in any way we can. Should you wish to know where to stand, we shall show you. Should you wish to know what to say, we will tell you. Should you wish to recognize one of us for most outstanding performance by a player in a leading role, drama or comedy, we shall kneel before you in humble gratitude. I'm sure you'll both be wonderful. <laughs> Very well then. Are you ready? Yes. Then let the play begin. Once upon a time, there was a radiant young lady named Rapunzel who lived in the top of a tall, tall tower. From the time I was just a baby, my mother never allowed me to go inside. Each day as Rapunzel gazed out her tower window, she wondered when would her life begin. My dream was to see the floating lanterns that appeared in the night sky every year on my birthday. But today, like every other day, Rapunzel's daydreams were interrupted by the sound of a familiar voice. Rapunzel! Mother Gothel? Let down your hair. Oh, let me undo that for you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You have no idea how long it takes to braid this. Ah, well, of course. Stunt hair, please. Oh, what's that? That is a theatrical representation of your hair. Oh, I love the theater. Rapunzel! I'm waiting. Coming, Mother. Immediately, Rapunzel lowered her hair so that Mother Gothel could easily ascend the steep tower wall. Oh, thank you. It should be noted by all in 
attendance at Mother Gothel was not Rapunzel's real mother. That's right. I was kidnapped by Mother Gothel when I was just a little Then mother. why was Rapunzel kidnapped? Oh, Mr. Jones! Because of her magic hair. Yes, which keeps Mother Gothel... The fairest of them all. Hey! Hey! Rapunzel. Oh. Ah, Princess. Rapunzel, mummy's feeling a bit run down. Why don't you let me brush your hair like Mr. Smythe sings your magic song? Whenever I sing the magic song, my hair started to shimmer and glow. And when it glowed, it cut Mother Gotham with none. But there's special healing power. Once was mine. As Gotham brushed the enchanted hair, the years melted away. Sands through the hourglass, thus were the days of our lives. Thank you, my dear. No, uh, Princess. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Now give me my mirror. Oh. Uh. oh. Do you know what I see? I see a strong, confident, beautiful young lady. Oh, look, you're here too. <laughs> Realizing this might be her last opportunity, Rapunzel summoned up the courage to ask... Mother, I was wondering... <laughs> I mean, it is my birthday tomorrow. Would you please take me to see the floating lanterns? It's my only birthday wish. Absolutely not, Rapunzel! Oh, ah, sorry. Samuel! Yeah. Flower gleam and glow, let your power shine. Make the clock reverse, bring back what was mine. ta -da. <laughs> I told you, my dear, the world is a dangerous place, filled with ruffians and thugs, and that's why I keep you locked up in this beautiful tower. Oh, oh, seriously, Sam. Power go, power shine, go through this way. Ta da! <laughs> For your own safety, my dear, you will never, ever, ever, ever leave this tower, ever! <laughs> Trust me, Rapunzel, Mother knows best. <laughs> Rapunzel was determined to see the floating lanterns, so she did what any imprisoned 18-year-old girl would do. She backed up a frying pan and headed for the window. <laughs> Looking down, Rapunzel spotted a young man climbing up the tower. A stranger! And as he hauled himself up into her tower room... <laughs> Lords and ladies, a hearty huzzah for Flynn Rider! Right Quickly, Rapunzel did what any imprisoned 18-year-old girl who just knocked out a climbing stranger would do. After that, she went through his belongings, found a royal crown, and hid it. Now surely I can convince him to take me to see the floating lantern. What well, Rapunzel didn't know was that the crown was stolen. Flynn was a wanted man. Look, Blondie, there is no way that I will ever, 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 ever take you to see those floating... Okay, okay, I'll take you to see the lanterns. Anything to get that crown back. And so Rapunzel let down her hair. Tower they climbed. Okay, this is a weird climbing down here. As they scaled down the stone wall, the stranger introduced himself as Flynn. Flynn Rider. <laughs> and before Rapunzel could say, Holy hairbrush, Flynn! Their feet were on the ground and they were off and running on their new adventure. I can't believe I did this! This is so fun! I just hope we don't run into any ruffians or thugs. Hope we do end this adventure as quickly. And avoid being arrested by the royal guards, Flynn said. Hey, are you hungry? Because I know a great place for lunch. And thus he led the way to the Snuggly Duckling Tavern. Which, as it turns out, was filled with ruffians and thugs. <laughs> Hello. Whoa, hey, uh, would you look at this bunch? This will mean look at a bunch of uh, ruffians and thugs. I mean, uh, look at that guy. Trust the guy with the mustache, especially the milk mustache. And uh, don't be fooled by that princess in disguise. Pretty sure I saw her on the kingdom's most wanted list. Yes. You know, I think we'd be a whole lot safer if we just turned around and got you back home. So, what do you say? Let's head back to your tower and get that crown, okay? Excuse me. Oh. Are you Flynn Rider? Do I look like Flynn Rider? What? I think you look like Flynn Rider. Give me back my stranger! I need him to take me to see the floating lanterns. It's my dream. Don't any of you have a dream? I had a dream. Once. I've got a dream. See, I hate to 
is cruel and vicious as I see. Oh, I do like breaking dreamers. You can tell me with the dreamers. Like everybody else, I've got a dream. Hey, I've got a dream. Well, take it away, fellow ruffian. Hydrant starts and dumps some juices. And some here that oozes. And let's not even mention my complexion. But despite my extra toes, I'm me goiter and me nose. I really want to make a love connection. He's got a dream. I just wanna see the floating man turn to leave. I can every pass an hour, she's so crazy at the tower. Like all you lovely folks, she's got a dream. This way down deep inside, we've got a dream. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Suddenly, out of nowhere, came a brand new character nobody had ever seen. That's Maximus, horse of the royal guard, and he's after me! <laughs> Follow me! That's a secret passage. <laughs> was on and saw a drawn. their way out with the water level rising. I never should have left the tower. This is all my fault, Flynn. Eugene. What? My real name is Eugene Fitzherbert. Someone might as well know. Well, I have magic hair that glows when I sing. <laughs> what? I have magic hair that glows when I sing. <gasps> See? 
It's a symbol. The royal family. The king, the queen, the missing princess. The missing princess? The missing princess! Eugene, I have to go! As quickly as she could, Rapunzel raced back to her tower. Rapunzel, where are you going? Rapunzel, where have you been? Out there, discovering who I really am. I'm the missing princess! began to glow. You see, the same magic that was found in Rapunzel's hair was also present in this single teardrop. Its healing light flowed through Eugene and sprang forth, swirling through the tower room. And with that light came new life. And new love. Huzzah! We return to the kingdom and reveal Rapunzel as the missing princess. At which point the king and the queen. My real mother and father welcomed to me with open arms. <laughs> Yes, we bring some big ass a crown and all the courage and heart. We don't know if you're being jailed with what's a lot of time at the start. 